So is your gaming laptop turning into a mini toaster every time you launch a game? Then don't worry. Today I have got 8 insanely effective hacks to keep your laptop nice. cool, boost performance and maybe even extend its life. And I will start with a tip number 8 that is try to keep your laptop at the cool environment. Now mostly the heating issues occur because of the environment where you have kept the laptop. So let's say if you are somewhere outside of your home where your laptop has been exposed in front of the sun and getting the direct sunlight or maybe you are at home where the temperature is really hot or any other place then it will surely affect your laptop and and will be one of the major reasons behind the overheating now similar to this my next recommendation is that you should use a laptop stand or a cooling pad because of keeping the laptop on the flat surface especially on the surface that is quite a uh, hot like bed or the mattress the air vent doesn't work properly internal air heat are not able to release and this is the major cause why your laptop get overheated very quickly so if you're still not using any kind of laptop stand or any kind of cooling pad then uh, just go ahead and spend some money it comes very cheaper and if you look on amazon uh, you will get a stand for only like four to five dollar or the cooling pad around maximum around like eight to ten dollar so depend on your budget whichever you want to go with you can go ahead i will leave the link in the description and there will be a big difference when you keep your laptop from the next time on the cooling pad or on the stand the air vents will be free and will be able to release the air properly without overheating your laptop all right now next after this i would also recommend you that if you have a laptop that is around one year or approx to one year like 1.5 or 10 months then also you need to check the thermal paste applied on the cpu and gpu of your laptop this is not for the people who got a laptop recently like about a month or two or three months and so like applying the thermal paste my next recommendation is to clean your laptop again this is only applicable for the user who have a laptop of more than six months if there is a lot of dust in your laptop maybe the air vents are not working properly the fan speed has been reduced because of the dirt and this can also become one of the major cause behind the overheating issues so what you can do at the time when you will visit the local technician to apply the thermal paste at the same period of time you can ask them to clean your laptop properly now after all these solutions now my next recommendation is related to the software tweak and the very first thing that i would recommend you to undervolt your cpu now if you're not sure what undervolting cpu is then undervolting is the process of reducing the voltage supplied to a cpu which lower its power consumption and heat output without necessarily sacrificing the performance so it means that the consumption of the power will be reduced but it will not be affecting the clocking speed all right so in the performance there will be no difference but yes the power consumption will be reduced and once the power consumption will be reduced there will be lower heat and the lower temperature now this is a part of the overclocking like if you're using the amd laptop then if you go in the ai tweaker option somewhere you will find this uh, overclocking option of undervolt cpu by different name and on some laptop like Lenovo Log Gaming, you will have to go in the uh, BIOS and you will have to enable the lag in mode. And after that, you will find the undervolt CPU option. Now, there is a detailed information that I have to mention because it's a long uh, video topic and a long procedure. But if you want me to create a dedicated video on how to easily undervolt your CPU, then let me know in the comment section. Or else you can watch any other video that how to undervolt the cpu basically i have told you a bit of the process how exactly it should be done and mostly it's done through the uh, third party tool or through the bios all right now let's move with the next step where you also need to manage the power plan of your laptop now i'm not talking about the normal uh, power plan that you basically manage from windows settings like uh, choosing between the balanced high performance ultimate performance no that's a bit different now every laptop like Asus, HP or Dell or Lenovo they get their dedicated software like on Lenovo you get Lenovo Vantage and if you will bring it up and when you click on the gaming mode on the right hand side you get an option of thermal mode so you can also check on your other manufacturer that by what name you get this option maybe you see by the power plan and once you will click on it 
it will list you all kind of power plan here and it says thermal mode setting choose the mode you want to use so on the very top you get the performance mode and it says boost your computer performance with higher fan speed and power consumption performance mode is applicable only when ac power adapter is plugged in now once you select this option it will never give any recommendation to the uh, heating issues it will only work for the performance taking the most of the resources from the cpu and gpu and this is only applicable for the people who do the gaming when the power plug is being plugged in next you get the balance mode automatically adjust the performance and the fan speed according to the system requirement so basically this mode will be giving the equal priority to the performance and even to the battery consumption and the heating issues so you can also go with the balance mode as well but now if you don't really use any kind of gaming or heavy application then you can go with the quiet mode that will give you the maximum battery backup and even the battery health now the one that i would recommend you is to go with the custom mode and again in order to select the custom mode your power plug should be plugged in the first thing that i would recommend you click on the fan speed and make it to full now the moment you will select to full you will notice that the sound of your laptop has been increased and that is basically the sound of your fan so don't get panic because what exactly your computer is doing what your laptop is doing to run on the maximum speed so that it can release all kind of internal heating air outside using the air vent a part of that again you get the power mode you can choose here the best performance or balanced or best power efficiency whatever you want to choose so if you are ready to sacrifice your performance a bit then you can go with the power efficiency or balanced and somewhere you will also get an option of performance and if you click on it basically it gives you the performance setting to uh, manage the limit on your cpu and the gpu basically related to the temperature and if you want to limit any kind of temperature on your cpu or gpu then you can do that so for example if i set the cpu temperature limit to around 80 percent so my laptop will start reducing the work when it reaches around 80 percent but keep in mind doing so will be reducing the heat but will also affect the performance but if you need the maximum performance then you will have to increase the limit to around 97 or 98 percent but if you are not too much concerned about the performance you also need to balance the overheating issues then you will have to reduce that cpu temperature to around 88 or 90 percent at least same you can do with the gpu as well now one more thing that you can do here uh, if you scroll somewhere down you will be also getting an option of tgp you can also reduce that a bit in order to uh, avoid the overheating issues but again it will be affecting the performance so uh, it will all depend on you that if you are ready to sacrifice a bit of the performance then you can try to reduce it okay now let's move to the next hack that is limiting the fps on your laptop now most of you while enjoying the gaming look for many kind of tweak in order to boost the fps but keep in mind the maximum fps you will be enjoying and forcing your cpu and gpu to give you the best fps your cpu and even your gpu will work with the best efficiency and due to which there will be a lot of heat released and this is also one of the major reason behind the overheating all right let me make it easy for you for example if you play any game like valorant and i believe that valorant works pretty well if you get an on an average of around 200 fps but if you have forced your nvidia or any other graphic card to give you the 500 fps it doesn't make any sense because due to which probably you won't get that kind of fps but yes your cpu and gpu is utilizing their best resources and because of which there is a cause of overheating all right so what you can do if you think that if you're getting the fps of around 250 300 and you can manage a bit like even if you get 250 fps instead of 300 i think that will work for you then what you can do if we are using the nvidia then you can bring up the nvidia control panel click on manage 3d settings maximum frame rate option now i'm very sure it should be selected to on because you have made some kind of tweak if you have selected to 400 then you can bring it to around 350 if it's been selected to 350 then you can make it around 300 and similarly you get the same option on amd as well so if you bring up the amd adrenal software in the gaming and in the graphic option only you get the max fps option you can reduce the value over there as well 
So of course, doing so will be also making your laptop cooler. All right, now let's wrap up with the last tweak that is lowering your graphic settings. Yes, keeping your graphic quality to the higher value will be also hate your CPU and the GPU because in order to give you the better texture quality and everything, your CPU and GPU will again work with the best efficiency due to which there will be the overheating issues. So either using your AMD software or the Nvidia software, you can reduce the texture quality and other kind of sharpening level qualities, uh, all other graphical setting you can try to reduce them even from the gaming setting as well if you're playing any dedicated game you can go to their graphical settings and reduce the quality of the graphics and basically these are the possible solution that you can apply in order to avoid the overheating issues and keep your laptop cool now why you should take the, all these recommendations very seriously because if you want to work on it probably in future due to the overheating issues your motherboard can burn or any other devices or any other component can burn and you won't be able to even enjoy the warranty so that's all guys for today and hopefully all these tips and tweaks will surely help you to reduce the overheating issues if yes please hit the like subscribe and i see you in the next video Bye bye